Hello everybody, I just filmed a lip swatch video for my channel in Greek and my lips are aching so much that at the end of this day I think that I will have to not wear any lipstick or gloss or anything for a week but you know that's how it is I'm doing it for you guys so although you cannot understand Greek I will have the link down below of the give me more lip Sephora kit lip swatches I did because most of these products are permanent and maybe you want to see how they look uh, down below and if you have questions about the consistency of these products or how they apply and you cannot understand Greek you can always leave me a comment and I will try to answer you and help you out but uh, I realized that it is impossible for me to film all these lip swatches I wanted to do today twice, one in Greek and one in English because then I wouldn't even be able to fill my lips so I broke this lip swatch first in two and today uh, for this uh, video in English I will uh, have some swatches of the Urban Decay Full Frontal Lipstick Stars As half of these lipsticks are permanent and I also want to uh, try them and see how they feel and how they apply on the lips. I have not tried any of these yet. I have not swatched them on my lips. I swatched a few of them on my uh, hand and I have to say that uh, it's it's really cool. I'm really looking forward because it's also a first impression video and since I have swatched uh, a lot of uh, lipsticks in the other video I will throw in a couple of surprise lip swatches for this video and uh, I'm really looking forward for it. Also I don't know if you have realized any difference. I have new lights. So although outside is gloomy I have uh, new lights and uh, I was asking questions and I was thinking about getting a ring light. At the end I chose not to. After a whole discussion I had with some of you and especially the person that helped me the most was my friend Green Pro Quo. I will have her link down below. She's so nice. She gave me a lot of advice because she had searched the whole thing about having a better light uh, um, for videos and she gave me some suggestions. She told me why she thinks that the ring light might not be necessarily the best choice for me right now maybe as an addition in the future but uh, not only that but she also helped me to get these lamps because they didn't sit in Switzerland so thank you very much it is great I am so excited I woke up very early today and went to get them to from the post and uh, I really put uh, I slapped on a few pieces of makeup on my face I'm not even completely happy with the result but I was like I don't care I want to film this lipsus video with my new lights that was the whole point of the day so I'm starting the lip swatches and I'm starting with this Urban Decay full front of lipstick stars I will just say that I love the packaging of that and that it also comes but I will not use it today uh, with um, a pencil and it is an anti-feathering pencil it's uh, one of their very known Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On lip liners, lip pencil and it is the uh, shade Ozone which is the colorless one and I really really love anti-feathering pencils I have one uh, by Kiko and I'm using it more often than any other pencils I have. I'm not a lip pencil uh, fanatic but when I use one I like having a, an anti-feathering one with me when I travel and then there are six lippies in here three of them are uh, permanent and three of them are limited for this box I will have all this information down below first lipstick is called Lady Flower I love the packaging of the minis it looks like that, a very, very beautiful shade. I'm already in love with that. So I'll use my epic uh, cell handmade mirror that it was one of the first things she gave me. I will have, I have a review on this mirror on the blog. I will have the link down below. 
you should check my blog more often I'm trying to post material that I'm not including in the videos on the YouTube I'm not uh, having overlapping information so you should check it uh, out if you like uh, reading blog posts uh, and I will have all my links down below and also all my social media so I will be using this mirror to put on the lipsticks and show you the final result this is a lady flower and I really really love this shade I think it's uh, a very bright nice pink I really like how they apply they feel very creamy and hydrating on the lips So next is Crass and I am in love. I think these three first are the limited edition ones and really I think that Urban Decay needs to make them permanent. I loved Lady Flower a lot but this is so bright and almost neon and it feels so nice on the lips. I love it. Next is Illicit and um, I think that the color coding in the bottom really really confuse you but this is a nude pink, really pink with uh, a lot of simmer in it. It gives almost a frost result. I'm not completely in love with the frost finishes that many lipsticks have but this still feels very comfortable on the lips and applies nicely although usually I don't like how frosty finishes lipsticks apply uh, it's not my absolute favorite color but I can see a lot of people liking a color like that this one is gas and I think these next three are in the permanent collection and this is the dark red almost burgundy shade and it is a very very beautiful shade. I think that maybe it's um, the one I like the most except uh, what was the other one, the really amazing one that I tried, the Crass. I think the Crass would be my favorite one. But I like this a lot. I'm happy that it's a permanent shade. It doesn't look as dark on the lips. feels like it has this hint of berry in. I think it's a very easy to wear shade for this type of color. And next I have a nude shade that is called Liar. This is Liar and this is how it looks. It is quite a brownish nude. I am not in love with this shade. I think it's my least favorite from the bands and it also has a bit of simmer in it. It's very creamy. For the simmer I cannot, I am not completely sure. It doesn't look like that on the tube but it has, if not simmer, it has this frosty feeling. I think that these shades are not really nice on me. I don't know what you think. You can leave me some comments down below. But I have to admit that all of them apply very nicely and very smoothly and they have a really nice pigmentation. Last one in this kit is F Bomb and this is bright red. At first I thought that this apply a tiny bit less smoothly than the rest but maybe it's my lips. We are over 20 lipsticks watching here. Like really my lips are hurting. So... I I love this shade. It brightens the face. I mean, reds can do a huge, huge difference when you are putting on your makeup. I in every woman's face. I really, really love them. So this is F bomb, and this is also a permanent one. I could certainly have done a better job with the application but I'm so exhausted with the lip swatching. So this was the Urban Decay Full Front of Lipstick Stars. In general as a first impression I love them all a lot. The only shade I think that I will not get use out of it is the Liar one, the nudist one. Uh, but I liked a lot all the other five. Even Illicit, that was not my favorite. I think that I will wear it quite a lot. And these are tiny. They have uh, 
one gram each. I never, never finish a full size lipstick and they look amazingly cute. So as I promised, I will also swatch a few lippies uh, more that um, I have shown you in the last few video hauls and stuff like that and I have not swatched for you. This is a double-ended mini lippy by By Beauty and I have shown this to you uh, in my big um, US haul and uh, it has two sides. I love how it looks. It has two sides. One is Palomino and this is this bright pink and the other one is violet and it is this bright orchid color i have swatched palomino in my greek video because it is also included in the give me more lip um, set by sephora but i will swatch it again for this video since it is uh, in this uh, double-ended lipstick this is palomino it's certainly a gorgeous lippy i love it a lot i this is the only one that I'm not wearing for the first time, as I said, and I have swatched it again. It looks amazing. It brightens up the face so, so much. It's a very, very sweet, hot pink shade. So this is violet. For me, Violet is a very, very unique shade. I find this gorgeous. I know that this is not the cup of tea of everyone, but I could wear this kind of shades every single day. I love them a lot and it's very bright, but not very dark. Almost impossible to get this lipstick off. But for the end, and this is a special surprise, I have two lippies that I have not shown to you yet, only on Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I have the link down below. And these, I'm very excited. I will film a short, whole video with a couple of stuff that I got, but I'm waiting for makeup geek order first, and then I will throw these lippies in there. But uh, in case you're watching this video, you have the extra treat of uh, seeing lip swatches from these two lippies that you will soon in the future see in a whole. So these are from Charlotte Tilbury and they are the... Um, I have the box here because I have, I have tried them. I, I could not resist, I have to admit that. They are the Matte Revolution Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipsticks. And the shades I have, the packaging is a work of art, I love it, but I will mostly concentrate on the lip swatches today. Bond Girl, because who can resist on a lippy looking like that, being matte and being called Bond Girl, and this is the perfect shade. And the other one I have is called Glastonbury. So let me put Bond Girl and let me see how it looks. So this is Bond Girl. These lippies are among the easiest I have ever applied. They're very easy to apply. They smoothly run over your lips. They're very pigmented. They only need one coat. This is a beautiful everyday color, I think. And the other one I have, it's one of the darker shades, and uh, it is this berry shade, it's called Glastonbury, I love the names, and um, I really, really, these are, were the two uh, that mostly excited me on the side, although now that I have tried them, and they are matte, they're nothing drying, they are the most hydrating matte lipsticks I have ever tried. I'm mesmerized by these lippies. So this is Glastonbury and it's really gorgeous. It's one of the darkest shades, but it's, I still think that it's very wearable. So this was a long lip swatch video with uh, the new Urban Decay lippies. I mean, they are not so new, but I think are, they are the latest ones by Urban Decay. And uh, the Charlotte Tilbury 
matte lippies and also the bite beauty one that i got from sephora us so i hope you enjoy this video if you liked it and you like videos like this leave me a comment push the like button subscribe to my channel for more videos to come and also leave me a comment what do you think about the new lightning is it working is it better do i need to play a bit more with it i will play a bit more with it i i think that i will need to try out uh, different settings until i'm happy absolutely happy with one and that could take me some weeks but uh, i'm very excited that i have new lights so this was um the video for today leave me a comment down below which lippy did you like most of the ones i tried on me and which one would you like to try out more yourself because we might look completely different so maybe you would prefer a lippy that doesn't look really nicely on me but you would like it on yourself so leave me your comments and suggestions and i will see you soon in the next video bye bye